Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. So we just checked out of our treehouse this morning. We made a theme park reservation to come to studios today. And I love how Disney is doing their boarding groups for Rise of the Resistance. You don't have to be in the park anymore. You can be wherever you want, as long as you have that theme park reservation. So we set our alarms for 6.58 on the dot, woke up at 7 a.m., we made our boarding groups and we got 65. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. They just called 65. So we had the whole morning to do whatever we wanted we did not have to rush over. And that was very nice and very enjoyable. I believe it's been about a month and a half, maybe even two months since I last rode this attraction. So I'm looking forward to this. Maybe get on a few more rides, give you guys a quick park update. It's gonna be a good day. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. It's been raining all morning. We still have a few rain clouds out. Hopefully they keep going in that direction and stay away from us. And if you choose not to wake up at 7 a.m., you can still come inside the park at 2 p.m. and try to get lucky. Check out the new park maps here at Studios. I love it. Good job, Disney. They just made the announcement for the 2 p.m. boarding groups. And look at this. We can see a lot of people on their phones right now just standing around. But the sun is starting to come out. That's a good sign. We stepped inside Mickey's of Hollywood and look at this. Disney has released new Soul merch. We have some t-shirts here. A pop figure. Soul Cat. A few plushes here. Here's another one. Some more pops. And a toy set. Nice. Ooh, look at this. We have a Star Wars version of Monopoly themed around the Mandalorian. The time, 2.05 p.m. in the afternoon, and you can see a good amount of people are leaving. People are still coming in, but there's a good amount of people leaving since they did not get lucky getting a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. Boarding groups for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance are full. To check the status of the virtual queue, Please use the My Disney Experience app. We are also trying to find somewhere to eat, but I am not having any luck on the app. Even the walk-up list, they are completely full for the day. Hopefully we can get lucky, maybe get a 50s prime time or even a mini's holiday and dine. We'll see. Even Olga's. I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> we are stopping here at the market because Bianca has never had a num num cookie. Oh man, that looks delicious. It's nice and warm and fresh. Let's see what Bianca thinks about it. Oh my God, I loved it. I highly recommend guys, you've got to try the num num cookies. So delicious. Is it better than Gideon's? I think so, cause I'm not a huge fan of all the chocolate chips. So I actually think this is like the perfect combo. I love it. Nice. <laughs> Look at the back of the line to ride Slinky Dog Dash. It starts here at the entrance of Walt Disney Presents. That is a long line. But Toy Story Mania is only a 20 minute wait. We would ride this, but it is now our turn to go ride Rise of the Resistance. A 55 minute wait to ride Smuggler's Run. I have a question for all of you at home. You have to wonder when Disney will start putting in more of the Mandalorian inside of Galaxy's Edge. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments, because at this point, I kind of think the Mandalorian is more successful than just Star Wars in general right now. At least the Disney side of Star Wars. I don't know. There may be a few Easter eggs already in here from the Mandalorian. I definitely want to look around, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We just tried to do a walk-up reservation for Oga's Cantina. I thought we could get lucky because every time I'm here, I do check and see if they have any last-minute cancellations, but they are at max capacity, they are only doing reservations at this point. This is the current line to just enter the market to do some shopping. That is definitely the longest I've seen it since the reopening. All right, it is now time to ride. Let's hop in line. Oh wow, look at this. Looks like Disney has installed more plexiglass here in the pre-show room. And I believe that is because they want more people on this ride throughout the day. Here we go. 
your resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Yes. Uh, uh, the red two more incoming. We're fight taking evasive action. Gained. By the authority of the First Order, resistance scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. This ship is now under the command of the First Order. All passengers will disembark at my direction. And then, continue down the corridor, to your right, for your interrogation. I still get so nervous and intimidated when I walk through this room. It's so amazing. Remember the color I assigned you to be important for your interrogation. We got so lucky. We have the whole prison cell Yay! to ourselves. We can run around. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, here we go. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. They have also installed a plexiglass barrier to have more people per ride vehicle. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. A probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Wait, and those are the prisoners. We have a breach in detention block breach. Detention block breach. Prisoners last seen in MD. And here's a better look at that plexiglass barrier. Man, I am so happy. It felt so good to ride that ride again. It's been so long. Everything worked at 100%. We were the only people in the ride vehicle. It was amazing. I can't wait to come back and do it again. Next up, we're gonna hop in line to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It says it is only a 40 minute wait. Let's see. It took us about 35 minutes on the dot and we are next to ride. Also, I can now confirm they are no longer skipping rows on rides. They're filling them up. Instead, they have put up plexiglass.
nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> As you exit Runaway Railway, they have a pin trading set up right here if you want to pin trade. But let's talk about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So we now know that Disney is no longer spacing parties out. Now they have installed plexiglass on mostly everything now. That way you don't have to wait in line as much and Disney can load more people on to the ride vehicle at one time. So. Since Disney is doing that, that's going to knock down your wait time. I think it was just me because, hello, happy holidays. I think because I'm so tall, this bothered me, but because my height is further up than the average person, the top of the plexiglass barrier, that red strip, was right eye level with me. So that kind of blocked a lot of my view. But I mean, if you look up and look around, you're still fine. It did bother me a little bit, but I'm just happy Disney is moving these lines faster. That way you're not waiting in line all day. Okay, since we cannot find anywhere to eat inside of Hollywood Studios, I mean, you could go to a quick service location, but we wanted to sit down and enjoy our lunch today. And then we tried walking around the park to try to find some more Christmas treats. And the one that I need to try is that pine cone, but that's located at Starbucks. That line was crazy insane. So since we accomplished everything we wanted to do, we're just gonna leave, hop in the car, probably go to Disney Springs or a resort. We'll see what happens. We quickly pulled over to have a quick look at the Star Wars Hotel. Look at this. It is coming right along. They still have a lot of work to do. Not much theming is going to take place due to what they're trying to do with the rooms but how cool is this and then you can see galaxy's edge right here now you can find this if you're driving to animal kingdom and then you can take this exit and this exit will bring you to disney springs and magic kingdom and epcot i'm excited i cannot wait for this to open we made it to disney springs and look at this disney is prepared for the larger crowds. Because of the pandemic this year, Disney had to spread out their Christmas tree trail. You can find different themed Christmas trees scattered throughout Disney Springs. Looks like this one is themed around Star Wars. We are going to grab lunch here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. And of course, it is decorated for Christmas. We made it inside and look at this. So much Christmas. I love it. But look where we are sitting today. We get a lot of privacy. I think we just got really lucky. This is gonna be fun. We even have theming inside. Look at this. Dang, this is cool. We even have speakers piping in Christmas music right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. For my drink this evening, I got the Berry Mary Margarita. It has Patron Silver Tequila, red cranberry juice and lemon juice for $16. Wow, wow, wow. The Berry Mary Margarita is absolutely delicious. I like how they put the sugared rim on there and they dyed it green for Christmas. <laughs> the cranberry juice mixes so well with the Patron. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it was so good. And this is out of their, they have like their own holiday menu. Yes. What I thought was cool. There's a lot to choose from. All right, so today guys, we have the beef empanadas. And then we also have the chicken wings and we opted for the bird's eye chili, which is a mild buffalo sauce. And then I also asked for extra side of buffalo sauce on the side, along with extra ranch. And also, I just wanna point out, this is not a full restaurant. They only serve drinks and a few apps to choose from. It is now time for dessert and I have been really looking forward to trying this. This is called the Milk and Cookies by the Fireside. It is basically a adult version of Milk and Cookies. You have Coquito with Malibu rum and chocolate peppermint gingerbread man, a spiced sugar Christmas tree cookie, and a butter pecan cookie. And this was $25 and of course, this is shareable. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. That is, oh, that's delicious. That is beautiful to taste. I make this every year you for do. my family, Coquito. And yeah. 
This is really good. It's so good. It's nice and rich and thick. Mm. Perfect for dipping <laughs> your gingerbread, man, inside. Oh my goodness. When you dunk your cookies inside the coquito, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Wow. What a great creation. This one's better than what we've tried at Epcot. Epcot is really strong. Mm. And it, the rum is too overpowering. But this is a great combination of the coconut flavor and the Malibu rum. Absolutely. I highly recommend this. The food here was actually pretty tasty. We really enjoyed the empanadas. The chicken wings, they were okay. The flavor was kind of weird tasting in a way. But Bianca and I, we loved the empanadas, but we absolutely loved the margarita and the adult milk and cookies. Those two items alone is worth a drive here to Disney Springs to eat here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. It is starting to get a little chilly outside. And as I'm passing by Wine Bar George, I remembered they are now serving hot wine here at the grab and go quick service window. And then here's a quick look at Gideon's. It's looking pretty good. We still don't know when it's going to open, but I'm really looking forward to this cookie shop. Oh yes, I have got the hot wine. I love this stuff, especially from Wine Bar George. It tastes a lot better than how it does at Epcot. More spices. Looks like today you can walk right inside the world of Disney. Check out these new ears. Those are awesome. Look at all of the different hand sanitizer Disney is offering with a different Disney theming on each one. $10, that's a, a little steep for hand sanitizer, but it's still cool that Disney is offering this. Our last stop here at Disney Springs, the Days of Christmas store. I'm heading in here to get a few Christmas gifts for my higher tier Patreon members. And if you are a Patreon member to my channel or a YouTube channel member, you do have a Christmas gift heading your way by Christmas. I think this Christmas ornament makes us all feel the same way. We are just ready for 2020 to be over with and we are ready for 2021. On the way out, we decided to stop by Sprinkles to try their new gingerbread cupcake for the holidays. I have a lot of mail to open. Now, I have already went through some of the mail and a good amount of it. People wanted to remain private. Some of them did not want me to read their mail in the video, so I'm going to respect that. The first one is from Carla Allen from Los Angeles, California. She sent myself and Bianca a very powerful message and she also sent over a Disney gift card. Thank you so much. I loved your letter. I'm sure Bianca will love it also. Stacy, thank you so much for the stickers. Also, she has a really cool Etsy store. If you guys want to go check her out. I mean, these are pretty awesome. Thank you, Stacy. This next one is from Caroline from France. She sent me a really nice letter. And check this out. A Disneyland Paris pin from Ratatouille. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Caroline. That's, it still kind of blows my mind that so many people watch my videos from all over the world. We really hope to visit Paris and France hopefully in the near future once the pandemic goes far, far, far away. This next one does not have a name, but they sent over a Wakanda Forever mask. It's from Brooklyn, New York. So thank you so much. This next one is from Jeff. Looks like he makes fan challenge coins. Look at these. So pretty awesome. Sent me three of them. Thank you so much, Jeff, to you and your wife for the nice letter. 
in these coins. This next one is from Theme Park Lifestyle. They sent over some channel logo face coverings for myself and Bianca. Those are awesome. Thank you so very much for this. I really do appreciate these. Looks like the next few are from Amazon. A gift for you. I hope that Bianca's little princess enjoys this coloring book and colored pencils from Ariane. Look at this. I know she is going to love this. Thank you so much for thinking of Bianca's little daughter. That's so very kind and sweet of you. And she also sent over some colored pencils. This next one is from Julia. Look what she made me. That's so very kind and very sweet. She also made a few for Bianca and her daughter. Wow, these are beautiful. Look at those. I believe she handmade all of these pieces. She is a big fan of the channel. I just read her letter from her mom. Things like this makes my heart very happy. And Julia, you know what I'm talking about. Stay strong and thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. Whoa, this next one is from Shannon. She is a big Disney fan. She goes to Disney World often. My goal is to come for the 50th anniversary in 2021. Your videos have made the planning process less stressful and I have recently joined your Patreon page. Thank you. My grandfather used to do some contract artwork for Disney. He even met Mr. Disney himself. This book is from the opening of Magic Kingdom. I thought you may like this. Thanks for all the great videos, Shannon. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. You guys know me. I love vintage Disney items and collectibles. And holy cow, look at some of this. I am really going to enjoy looking through this and adding this to my collection. Wow. Thank you so much for sending me this and thinking of me. This is, this is incredible. This next one is from Canada, from Eve, Josie, Jenna, Violet, and Arwen. They sent me a few bracelets for Bianca and I. And look at this really cool painting. That's really, really good artwork right there. We also have a Mickey Canada flag. How cool is that? Oh, they made me the cookie from Wreck-It Ralph to Dev. You're my hero. And they each sent me a personal letter, which I will read later with Bianca. Thank you guys so much for thinking of us. That was so much fun to open. Christina, thank you so much for the cool Disney hat. I like it a lot. This next one is from a small local business. Dear Dev and Bianca, I hope you enjoyed these soaps and beer balms. Thank you for being a positive influence on the world. Samantha Brown. Look what she sent me. She makes Disney soap. This one is in the shape of a Mickey. Whoa, we have all kinds of like beard oils, more soaps. Oh, Bianca is going to love these. We also have a, another Mickey. Some of it did get a little crushed in the mill, it looks like. But here's her small business information. If you guys want to check her out and then she has a promo code if you guys want to check her out thank you so much Samantha I do love to support smaller local businesses especially during this challenging time that we are all facing at the moment Greg my brother he has been a mod of my channel for a while now he sent me a fire TV stick 
Um, we were having a conversation months ago about this thing and he surprised me and sent one to us. We will definitely enjoy this. Thank you so much, Doc. This next one is from Gazelle. This is all for Bianca. But look what she sent over. How cute is that? We also have some more goodies and calming our minds, which I think we all need at the moment. But I will give Bianca all of this. Thank you so much for thinking of us. The next one is from Josh and Caitlin. They sent me a few postcards, which I love. And look at this vintage Disney World plate. Wow, like this is from, I, can't, I don't even know when this is from. I think the, I wanna say the, the 80s. I mean, how cool is that? I cannot wait to add this to my collection. Thank you guys so much for thinking of me. Like, this is awesome. Wow. This next one is from another small business, B and May. And this is from her Mother's Our Magic collection. She sent over a lot for Bianca. A lot of t-shirts. Look at that. She is going to appreciate this. A hoodie. Holy smokes. Some more t-shirts. Stickers. That is awesome. Looks like they also have a podcast. If you guys want to go check them out and the last piece of mail that we have today is from Victoria Gabby Joanna and Stephen Morris look at this thing <laughs> I have never owned a giant Funko Pop and I love the coca-cola bear so this is going to look nice in my collection and then they also sent over some gift cards thank you all so much that was very kind of you i read your letter that is awesome that you do that thank you everybody for thinking of us who sent over some mail i know we were very behind a lot of this is from september and october i'm sure we have a lot of christmas mail coming up i love reading your guys' story and seeing where you guys are from and it just means a lot that you guys love the channel and Bianca and I so much to send us over some items from your, your your time of day. So we are very grateful. I do have a PO box. I leave that address down in the description in every single video. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here from Disney Springs. What a fun day it was. We got to start at Hollywood Studios. We got to ride Rise of the Resistance. We got to ride Runaway Railway and just check out the crowds and the wait times. You know, Disney figured something out. They are really moving crowds now. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're still going to wait in some lines, but it's not as horrible as what it was a few months ago or even a month ago. And then here at Disney Springs, we really enjoyed Jock Lindsay's. That adult milk and cookies was amazing. I am going to be doing a giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away this really adorable, cute Minnie Mouse photo frame. And get this, I'm going to open it up for everybody, including you guys who watch International. All you have to do, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below, and I will randomly select one of you to send this home to. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Ouch.